In California, Santa Clara County's medical examiner Tuesday said two people died of COVID-19 on February 6th and 17th, weeks before Washington state reported the first U.S. fatality from the disease on February 28th. The finding adds to evidence the coronavirus was circulating in the United States much earlier than previously thought. A new study funded by the National Institutes of Health has found coronavirus patients administered the drugs hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin had a higher death rate than those receiving standard care alone. On Tuesday, a panel of experts at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases recommended against the use of the drugs, saying they increase the risk of sudden cardiac death in patients. President Trump has repeatedly touted the drugs as a miracle cure for COVID-19. In March, he tweeted, quote, they have a real chance to be one of the biggest game-changers in the history of medicine, he tweeted. Meanwhile, Robert Redfield, the director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, warned Tuesday that a second wave of coronavirus infections may sweep the United States next winter, which could be even deadlier than the first wave, since it would coincide with the flu season.